Hi guys, Bruce here. Well, we've got another piece of equipment here. It's an electric powered air compressor. The front tire leaks real bad. So I've just put some air in the tire and I'm gonna put it up on my lift while it hit. So uh, we'll just get that done. This isn't going to be good for my back. Oh, not too bad. You don't want to do that too many times, all right? This thing is been used and abused. Let's have a little closer look at this baby. I'm sorry my furnace, whoops. I'm sorry the furnace is running. I just came out this morning. Okay. So I plugged it in and it just blew the breaker. But the motor says 115 or 230 volts, 15 amps at 115, and seven and a half amps at 230. And there's somebody has gone to the trouble of wiring both 230 and 115 switches. I'm assuming the center position is off. So I don't know quite what to do. I don't know what the horsepower rating of this motor is. 3,400 RPMs. That's different. Compressor duty motor. It's been banged up a little bit. You can't read it all. Okay, I'll come back in a bit. Okay, we have to look after the basics first, right? <laughs> Got a leak there, a leak there. Terrible tear there. So I'm going to just head out to my shed and see if I've got any replacements for this. It doesn't have any feet. But I've got six feet here. Well, maybe we can get away with just using two. So we'll see. Sorry for the shaking. Okay, I've got it lifted up onto blocks. And I'm going to get this tire off. You'll see there's a cotter pin in each side. Right there. And right there. Right there. And I'm going to take those cotter pins out and replace this wheel. I can't, every time I move it, I'm going to have to put air in it. I know I've got compressors to fix and all kinds of stuff, but you got to. You have to kind of make your life simpler before before you drive yourself crazy, right? <clears throat> well, I'm just trying to squeeze this corner pin together. But they certainly don't make things easy to work on, do they? Okay. This one's bent weird. There we go, that should come. There's always plan B, right? C or D. So I'm just going to clamp onto that and tap it out. There. Okay. Now we get to see. I bet you it's the same exact one. Right? Shafts at the same height. I'll just do a quick measurement on those. There's, we can go metric or one and a half inches sticking out there, one and a half inches sticking out there. So let's put some air in this guy. If 
find out how good it is. Actually, this hasn't taken me five minutes to do this. I do this quite a bit. That felt like about 30 pounds of air. 31! Now I'm just going to squirt some soap on this. Now it's got a tube, so it could be leaking. It could, oh, there we go. Yes, it's coming out. Well, naturally, it's coming out of the stem because the air works its way around, right? Okay. So before we get crazy, I'm going to put some green slime on this. Make sure I don't do the old one. <laughs> okay. A quarter cup is about 250 mils, about, and this one says to use 250, 237 milliliters in a wheelbarrow. So I think 200 will be lots. 770, so I'll just squirt some. It's not rocket science, right? That'll do. I'll just let that settle out and see how much we actually did put in. So how much did we stick in there? Oh, not that much. I'm going to put a little bit more in. You know me. Do it twice tender. About that same amount again. And that will do it. Okay. Schrader valve. Well, that'll make it easier. And then it says to roll a tire around for a fifth of a mile, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to roll it around a little bit. Air! See how that is. I don't want to get green slime in my tire gauge, right? 35 pounds. That should do it. Okay. And then I'm going to remount this back onto the machine. Okay, it's already stopped leaking. It's only been a minute. Okay, fix number one. All right, took the bolts off the cover. Now you're gonna see, I, I tried this when it was laying on the concrete, but I just thought I'd better put it on the stand so I don't hurt my knees. Right now the pressure switch is turned off, so the electricity should not go from the input to the motor. And watch this. Right? That should not happen because the, the compressor switch, it senses the air in here, uh, is turned off. That is turned on and it doesn't do it. Ooh, boy, that sure sucks the juice, eh? <laughs> That's another thing that it's been doing is blowing the breakers. There, the breaker just blew. <laughs> so this motor 
pulls more than 15 amps. All right, guys, I'm not going to show you my connection, but I've rigged this up to a 40 amp, uh, a 40 amp breaker. And I want to see if we can build any pressure on this bad boy. That's all. Oh, man, these are just fried. I know what we can do. We'll put an M style into one of the valves here. To let off some pressure if it actually does start. The pump's got oil in it. And uh, let's do this. Okay, let's wipe this mess up and then uh, I'm actually going to see now that it's been running a little bit and it's warmed up if it'll run on a 15 amp breaker. Okay. So now I had to use a set of vice grips to get this second valve open. I might as well use a container, huh? Instead of Letting it spray all over Hell's Half Acre because it's oily water. It should start spraying air when it's done, right? Because we have 80 pounds of air in the tanks. Might have to get in another container. That's too much water, guys. This hasn't probably been drained since it was new. There we go. So I'm starting to build a list here when I go when I go to the uh, air compressor shop. Believe it or not, that is water. 